So, a few days ago, I gave what probably should have been the most disastrous concert of my entire uh, life. Um, I've been talking a lot on Twitter about a concert that I was very excited for. It was at a local club here in Houston, which is not my normal setting. I'm in my closet, by the way, <laughs> hence the colorful background. Um, so I show up and I'm excited to do what's supposed to be the debut of lots of new music from my upcoming EP, Playing With Fire. And in order for me to play this music, I have an electric piano there with me, and I'm supposed to be able to play back beats from my laptop. Long story very short, after trying lots of things, none of the electronics worked, the sound system at the club was busted, none of their cables worked, and I had to play an entirely acoustic pretty much entirely classical concert in the middle of this nightclub where people had come to not only hear really cool music backed by huge, monstrous, uh, awesome beats, um, but I was also supposed to make my debut as a rapper. So I could have just sunk right there in the middle of the stage uh, and cried, uh, but I didn't because even though I'd come there for one very specific concert experience, I knew that if I just deep uh, pulled down, or if I just hunkered down, I could still give a memorable concert experience. So what I did was I pulled up repertoire uh, that I have in my fingers, some Rachmaninoff. I did a little bit of Liszt, a little bit of um, Mozart even in the middle of this dark, dank club. I was playing Mozart. Hair like this, fire red, which is supposed to be representative of this new EP, Playing With Fire. And I gave the best concert I could, and lo and behold, uh, the audience, even those who were not there uh, to see me, they'd come to support other bands, were really having a great time. Many were really blown away by this completely classical recital. And because I had promised the audience uh, that they were going to get the chance to see me try my hand at rapping, I didn't want to just give that up because there was no music to back me. So I had the audience actually clap along, uh, and I gave, I, I did the rap a cappella. So it was not the experience I'd gone there to give. It was not the one that I had been playing up in my head over and over. It was not the concert that I was so excited to deliver uh, for the last few weeks. But instead, it was a concert that still was an adventure, uh, more of an adventure than I expected for myself, but an adventure for the audience, and they enjoyed it. And that's what you call winging it. You know, Winging it is not something you plan to do. You should always plan to go in prepared, plan to deliver the best thing possible. Winging it should be a skill that you have tucked in your back pocket so that you can still pull off what you intended in some way, shape, or form. So um, I was definitely winging it uh, last Friday, and I just wanted to thank all of you in the audience who went along with me for the ride, even though it wasn't the trip we were scheduled to go on. And I'm excited to bring to you, uh, especially in Houston, We'll do a CD release party where you'll actually finally get to hear uh, all these awesome beats uh, that Rob created for me. But thanks to all of you for who came out and watched me. And I hope you enjoyed the experience. Um, hopefully it was a good time for you anyway. So remember, be ready to wing it if you have to. See you soon.